Now, Channel 3 Early Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Bruce DePriest. And this weekend, you might need a, a raincoat with rain coming our way. But before we get to that, let's talk about uh, November and the year. Now, November will go down in the record books as the second wettest on record. Of course, we've got one more day to go. And this year will go down as one of the wettest on record. Of course, the wettest year for the greater Hartford area was 2011 when we had over 69 inches of rain. So far this year, we've had 57.79 inches of precipitation. We are in seventh place, and we still have tomorrow and all of December to go before we put this year into the record books. All right, here's early morning pinpoint Doppler. We are scanning the state dry. That's the way it's going to stay as we go through tonight. Over Hartford, we have partly cloudy skies. There's no snow to worry about. In New London, we still have a gusty wind out there, but that will diminish. We have temperatures in the 30s in the Litchfield Hills. Hartford is 41. In New Haven and Bridgeport are 43. Danbury is 40. And Willimantic is 39. We got that breeze out of the northwest, 5 to 15 miles an hour. It will subside tonight as high pressure builds in from the west. But for now, we have wind chills that are in the uh, 20s and the 30s. It feels like 33 in Hartford and 36 in New Haven, but in some outlying areas, we have wind chills in the 20s. So we have the uh, clouds over us now, part of cloudy skies, and we're on the uh, backside of this huge storm over the Canadian Maritimes that did cause the gusty winds today, but that precipitation associated with the storm is far away from Connecticut. So Futurecast shows that we'll have a partly cloudy sky tonight. As we go into tomorrow morning, we'll have partly sunny skies, and then a weak disturbance aloft is going to be moving in tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. It could cause a little bit of snow, a little bit of rain, maybe some drizzle, and perhaps a few pockets of freezing drizzle. And as that moves on out tomorrow night, the sky will partially clear, and that could lead to a couple of slick spots on any untreated surfaces. So something we'll have to watch for for late tomorrow and on into tomorrow night. It's not a lot of precipitation, but it may not take very much to make things a bit slippery. And then as we go into Saturday, we're kind of dry uh, at 4 o'clock in the afternoon, but as we go into the evening, that's when the rain moves on in with the more important storm. The rain will be with us Saturday night and Sunday morning, and then it will taper off to scattered showers Sunday afternoon. But that it will come with a warming trend. We'll see temperatures get into the 50s on Sunday. So lows tonight, mostly in the 20s. And then your highs for tomorrow range from anywhere from 37 to 44 degrees uh, for the last day of November. All right, here is your seven-day forecast. Saturday, the first day of December, increasing clouds. Some rain arrives in the evening. Highs in the 40s will be in the 30s Saturday night with rain that could be heavy at times. And then rain mainly Sunday morning. That will taper off to showers in the afternoon, a high of 54. Monday, partly sunny and breezy, 53, with a chance for an afternoon shower. And we took the storm out of the forecast for Tuesday and Tuesday night. It may stay to our south. So Tuesday, a breezy and colder, a high of 42. And Wednesday and Thursday, we could actually stay in the 30s for highs with overnight lows in the lower 20s. And for the shoreline tomorrow, a high of 44.